Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So I'm going to ask Duran do your top 10 weight loss tips. What are my qualifications? I'm 37 years old. Fucking lean as. Lean as fuck. I don't take drugs. I don't calorie restrict. That's my qualifications. Right? There's people out there giving weight loss advice and they're not even lean. Unless the person's lost half their fucking body weight and kept it off, or they're lean as they're over age 35, then... But then again, you've got some people on drugs, man. So it gives a false... Here's a good little thing. This is mentamine. Well, it's not a good thing, but this is a good example. This is like fentamine. It's a very popular weight loss drug. It's basically speed. It's basically amphetamines. I don't, don't recommend using these things. I've got these as a bit of a video review for later on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. They've been sitting in my drawer for a while. These are so popular in the fitness industry. People just pop this stuff and they're like, I don't have to eat, man. I'm getting lean. But it's not sustainable. I don't recommend it. If you want to get, this is 100% natural fucking lean body fat. Leanness. Leanness. You know what I mean? I get to eat all I want. All I want. First tip would be, don't do stimulants. Stimulants fuck up your thyroid long term thrash metabolism and you sort of train your body to run on stimulants and adrenaline and your adrenal glands just get nice and juicy and plump and just shrivel down to become these little dried out raisins and you eventually just burn out. I've seen so many high level cyclists become overweight or some even obese. Some even obese. I've, I, don't, I won't mention any names but you probably know who I'm talking about. Very many high profile cyclists just <laughs> blow the fuck out. And you're like, well, how the fuck did that happen? I'll tell you how it happened. Stimulant abuse. Just popping pills, pills, cow restricting. You fuck your metabolism. So don't use drugs. Don't even use coffee. Get rid of caffeine out of your diet. Do a five year caffeine free fast. And that'll change your fucking life. You're like, well, I couldn't fucking live with that. Do what you want to do. I'm telling you, drugs won't work long term. They work short term, but you'll fuck up your metabolism. You're going to have to pay it back at some point. It's like living with a credit card. Living with a credit card. Second tip would be high carb diet. If you look at all the leanest cultures on the planet, they all eat a high carb diet. Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, China, Thailand, Indonesia, Somalia, Ethiopia, whatever. They're not starving. I'm not talking about the people in the famine camps. I'm talking about people who've got enough money to afford the rice and fruits and veggies and beans, or whatever. The corn, the potato, alright? They're lean as fuck. There's a big fad in the moment. Eat bacon and eggs to get lean. Last time I fucking checked, Dr. Atkins wasn't fucking lean. He was obese. And he had heart disease on his autopsy reports. Doesn't make him a bad person, but if you want to get obese with heart disease, eat a fucking high fat diet. Otherwise, carb the fuck up. Another tip would be eat a low fat diet. The opposite of high carb is low fat. That's what we want to do. The fat you eat, the fat you wear. I'm surprised. You get people walking in the bike shop, they pick up a shram, red crank, they pick up a duration, all the other crank, you go, oh, the shram's a little bit lighter. And they pick up the fucking campy record crank, and they're like, oh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I've got to get carbon on my bike. <laughs> and then they'll get like an XX, I've got to get the mountain bike. XX is pretty light. And then they go out the fucking lunch after they've spent a few thousand bucks at the bike shop, have a fucking bacon sandwich, a thick shake, and eat 100 grams of fat. The fat you fucking eat is the fat you fucking wear. So you're getting all this fat in their lunch, put it in their fucking body. You might as well just like slice your hips open and store it on there. Put a little insertion in your gut and just put it on your gut. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. Why are you worrying about fucking carbon versus alloy cranks when you're eating high-fat diet? Every gram of fat you eat is stored as fat. Simple as that. If you want to lose fat, don't fucking eat fat. Or you'll get all your essential fatty acids from fresh fruits and vegetables. Simple as that. So eat a lot of fresh fruits and veggies, you get all the essential fatty acids you need. Body needs fuck all fat. Alright? Needs fuck all fat. All the fats in your cells and stuff, your body can make that from carbohydrate. 
And you, you're always going to get fat. If you eat a diet rich in fruits and veggies, always have fruits on hand and vegetables. You get all your raw, essential omega-3 fatty acids, etc. Fruits and vegetables. Done. Next tip would be eat a fruit, pasta, rice diet as your staple. For me, I'm a big fan of the fruits. I've always got fruits on hand. Boxes of bananas when possible. Nice and spotty. That's what a ripe banana looks like. Nice and spotty, all right? That's a fucking ripe banana. If you eat it when it's yellow, it's, it's like eating a brick, man. It's, it's too starchy. This is ripe and sweet, maximum nutrition. Organic's the way to go. Don't fucking panic. Go organic. If you can get it, do it the best you can. If you can't get fruit or you don't like fruit or you want a backup plan, pasta, rice, corn, potato, anything that's really low fat, really high sugar, high carbohydrate, it's good for you. And if it's in a whole food form, the whole thing, that's fucking best. So carb the fuck up, load up. Eat like a fucking Kenyan or eat like a Duran Ryder Aryan if you want to get lean. All right? As <laughs> simple as that, man. Simple. I'll put some more text down below. You can check it out. Drink water. Stay hydrated. Here's a hydration chart. You always want to have clear urination at least 10 times a day and a few times a night. At night time, I have a pee bottle, an old juice bottle. Try to fill it up at night time. Tip it in the garden in the morning. Helps the plants grow. Puts the nitrogen back in the soil. You want to be hydrated. A healthy metabolism is a lean body. Naturally. We're talking natural. When you're on human growth hormone and all this other shit, you're getting false results and it can be confusing for people. I'm talking, this is all 100% natural gains we're getting here. Lean gains. No clenbuterol, no trenbolone, no phenamine, etc. Lean gains. So be hydrated for healthy metabolism so your kidneys can work. Your kidneys produce EPO and then your bone marrow produces more red blood cells. So the healthier your kidneys are, the more you can absorb the training and respond to the training and produce more natural EPO levels. More red blood cells, that's what we want. That's the most important thing for a cyclist is red blood cell count. Most important thing, 100%. Well, another tip would be go to bed early. Go to bed early, that's when you get your human growth hormone release, that's when your metabolism recovers, you, get, you absorb the training. You absorb the training you've done. Going to bed early is like the biggest tip, eight, seven, 8, 9 p.m., just lights off, everything off, no lights, put a little mask on, sit back, you can listen to some audiobooks, whatever, but just no lights on. Because once you've got the lights on, you, you, all your metal, melatonin and serotonin things are all getting tweaked out. That's another benefit of the high carb diet is it produces more serotonin so you get to sleep better, deeper, longer, stronger, high carb, early nights. Next tip would be train with a power meter. I don't have any power meters on the hand or on the bikes, but Get a power meter. I use the stage of cycling power meter. It's a great one. It just bolts into your little crank like that. It's a great product. I also use the power tap, another good power meter. They're the two lightest, cheapest power meters in the market. Done plenty of videos about that. By using a power meter on the bike, you actually know what the fuck you're doing. People say, what's your average speed, Harley? Average speed means fuck all, all right? You can be, I did an average speed yesterday, 20K an hour, but we just did up and down hills all day. Just doing loops and laps and stuff. I can do an average speed of 40k an hour with a tailwind and be, be doing on three watts per kilo. Or be a, drafting a bus or a big pack of riders on the flat. Average speed means fuck all. Fuck all. What matters is your wattage you're putting out, your watts per kilo. That's the only real gauge of an effort on a, as a cyclist is watts per kilo. Nothing else matters. Watts per kilo. Right? Average speed, fuck it out of you. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything, people. <laughs> That's why I see people riding up and down the flat. Fat people riding up and down the flat. Oh, I've got to get my over speed up. I've got to get my over speed up. <laughs> it's like, you're not going to get fit riding on the flat doing fuck all. Like, just folks, get out in the fucking hills, get a power meter, train to wattage. It'll fucking revolutionize your physique 100%. And also, they're having a the power meter on there, let you know if you're overtraining. Because all of a sudden, if you can't hit your numbers when you want to, you know, I need more rest or need more carbs and more water or both or all three. Get a fucking power meter. My girlfriend's got a power meter. She's only done two bunch rides in her entire life. She's never raced. She's got a fucking power meter. I bet you've done more bunch rides than her, and I bet you probably even raced. But you don't have a power meter? What well, goes up with that? Next tip would be be patient. You want to be patient. People write me all the time, Harley, I've been following your advice for six months, but I'm not as lean as you. Are you fucking serious? Do you really think you're going to get my results in six months? <laughs> you gotta be fucking tripping, man. 
put down the pills or the acid trips and just look at reality. It's like, it's like, it's like me being an organic farmer for 13 years, having a 13 year old farm and someone watches my videos and they start up an organic farm. After six months, they write me, Harley, I'm not producing much fruits as you are. I'm doing all the things you said. It fucking takes time. If you knew fucking how long it was going to take, you wouldn't be fucking around with all these fad diets and skipping meals and fasting here and juice. You wouldn't be fucking around with shit that's going to fuck up your metabolism that you're going to have to repair for them later on. You'd be going, all right, it's going to take me fucking years of fucking hard work, consistency, commitment, not fucking around. That's what it's going to take. If you knew that from the get-go, you wouldn't be fucking around. You'd be focused on the task and going, this is what's going to happen, man. It's a five-year goal, 10-year goal, one-year goal, whatever. It's going to fucking take a lot longer than all those snake oil sellers fucking sold and told you. So stop fucking around with the fads and apply fundamentals to your lifestyle. It's going to work. It's going to take time. There's no fucking fads. The more fads you do, the longer it takes. Every time you do a P90X fucking crash diet phase, water fast, whatever for weight loss, you delay your met metabolic benefits. You delay your weight loss goals. You delay that bikini body goal or the lean cyclist Chris Froome-esque physique, whatever. You delay that. Every time you fuck around, you delay that. Simple as that. So you've got to be patient, consistent, persistent, and resistant to the bullshit that gets sold and told to us on the internet, etc. Another one would be do weights. Do some weight training. All right? Do some weight. Weights are good. Helps you get more in touch with your physique, your body. So do weights. If you're getting too bulky, which is pretty hard to do, I mean, I can put on muscle pretty easily. So I don't do a lot of weights. I do weights now and then because it's good for bone density, but I don't, I don't train it hardcore. Because I do bulk up, put on the muscle, you know, for, for, if I put on five kilos of muscle, that really affects my running time. So I don't do weights all the time. I do do weights now and then. But for most people who aren't obsessive about the every last gram or every last second, weights are excellent. So I do recommend doing them. The last tip would be move to a hilly area. Hills are your best friend. They really change your metabolism because nature, nature goes, hang on, we're going against gravity. We need to get rid of all any excess. So hills are your best friend. And if you're living in a flat area, stairs. Stairs are amazing. Always take the stairs in the car park, at work, wherever, at the subway, take the fucking stairs. Going against gravity, it shifts things. It shifts things. It shifts things. Go, if you don't believe me, go out in the flat and watch the cycles going up and down. Everyone's a tubby or whatever. Go in the hills. The hills are where it's at. You don't have to sprint up the hills. You just have to go up the hills. Going against gravity is a force that your body recognizes and things shift. So apply these 10 top tips to your life and see what happens. And be patient. And what do you think? Post your comments and questions down below. Calm the fuck up. Train smarter versus harder. Realize, realize, realize. See you soon.